Mimma's just licking her side. Holy crap, what is that? That's not very good. All right, me and Grandpa are on our Lizzie Grandpa date. Danielle is ready for her pictures now. We are ready for bridles. That is a long way down. Ty, be careful. Danielle's arm is broken. It's not good. So she can't even straighten her arm. Hi, Cannon. How are you? Good. Perfect. So we're reading a story. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just woke up. What is the best? Last time you did 11 words with 79% correct. This time you did 15 words with 80% correct. So you are just moving right up. Good job, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Always progressing. That's awesome. I love watching his progress. Carol has been working with him three days a week. So we trade off. She comes three days a week and then I do two days a week. And she really is helping him so much. She's so on top of it. The nice thing for when she comes is she doesn't have any other distractions here. Like she doesn't have, her focus is Canyon and getting his stuff done. When when it's me, my, <laughs> my focus is Canyon, but then I also, have to go here and have to go there until Savannah has to take over. So Carol's consistency is helping him so much. Can we go over that with you real quick? Yeah, let's do it. All right, it's official. No, I'm going back down. <laughs> I'm kidding. You always say the dang it jokes. No. It's my turn. It was so cool. I was just going through a parking lot and that little hawk was on top of a car, just, I don't know, probably searching for food. Wanted Chick-fil-A, I don't know. But it was so cool to see that. Which side is it? Mim was, this side. Mim was just licking her side. It was up here. Oh, what the Whoa. Did it look hard? Holy crap, what is that? That's not good, Mim. Mim, you should move, let's see. That's not very good. What would that be? Look at this. Feel it. There's a cyst growing there, girl. Doesn't seem to hurt her at all. Mm-mm. No. You need to watch it and see if it changes at all. So do me a favor. Put, take a uh, marker mm -hmm. and mark right around, have her stand up straight, not normal, and just put like a circle or dots around all the way around it. And if it gets any bigger, we gotta take her in. Okay. Like, cause it'll, it'll grow fast over the next day or two. If, it's something bad. It might go down, but that doesn't look good at all. Here we go. All right, me and Grandpa are on our Lizzie Grandpa date, and we're gonna go eat at Chakarama. Where's the sign? There it is. And we're gonna go to Color Me Mine after this, so. Okay, so I got mashed potatoes, um, fried chicken. One of them is fried chicken, one of them is roasted chicken or something. And then I got a blue raspberry icy. Danielle is ready for her pictures now. We are ready for bridles. You just look amazing. Don't you just want to walk around in your wedding dress all day and do your normal yeah. things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is like too. my favorite. So pretty. So I need to measure Danielle. My mom is gonna make a short veil for the um, reception. And apparently all I have is this paper measuring tape that I made for Canyon at the beginning of the school year. And it's only like, oh, it does go from the beginning. Okay. So this is what we have to use to measure her head. All right, now we're done eating and we're gonna go into coloring your mind now, so. Color me mine. Alright, I did like an ocean theme one, but it's this whale hello there. And it's got a whale and some fish. Okay, I just got back. I painted, so I'll have to show like when it's all done because they see so at Color Me Mine you go and paint it and then well the battery died when I was showing it to you guys. But you go and paint it and then you leave it there and give them your phone number and then 
they uh, get it and they <laughs> fire it, it's what it's called. And so it like makes it like glossy and um, so pretty much at first it looks like and feels like chalky kind of and I fire it and then it looks like this. Shiny and like really like nice. I mean grandpa did like a vase and it's for flowers and you put the flowers in but on the outside it has it's gonna be green with fruits painted on it and it's gonna look really good so Gross. <laughs> okay, so I just got finished up filming a fun video with the kids. <laughs> I was a robot dad. Um, it was so much fun, but I missed out on the first half hour so far of the photo shoot, and uh, I want to be part of it. I was getting a little stressed earlier and, and uh, didn't give Sarah all the information, so hopefully she was able to find out the place that she was supposed to go, <sighs> and uh, hopefully they're not finished up. She's not answering my texts. Okay, I made it to the destination. I just don't see them. I don't know where they're at. I see a bunch of people, but it is not them. This is really how the shot gets taken. <laughs> Okay, so these pictures are going to go um, around, printed up and around, and obviously kept forever too, but um, they're gonna be posted around where they're gonna be having the wedding and uh, just kind of matching up with their first look video and some of the other pictures that they've taken. Um, so, <laughs> but it's, it's super cold out here with the wind. It's coming along and it's gonna look phenomenal. Wow, the canyon in the back is crazy. That is... A long way down, Ty. Be careful. It's only like 120 feet. You know, Ty, it's if you're falling. cool. He's warming up Danielle's hands. <laughs> That's a wrap. Yeah. Danielle's arm is broken. My dress. Um, actually, it's not <laughs> broken, but it's um, her muscle has been torn partially away from the ligament, the bone. It's not good. So she can't even straighten her arm. Can't put her jacket on. And she's freezing cold, so her hands like frozen. It's quite the process, but when it's cold outside, it changes everything. It's just so beautiful out here, though. So I don't think I vlogged about it this morning. Um, the reason why I went to Ty's dad's office this morning was because on Tuesday, it's currently Thursday, we were at the gym, and we did an arm workout, and I didn't push or anything. I really didn't. I had like stretched it out before and everything, and. I had stretched my arms up before and I didn't push it like I did not a lot of weight and I made with every set that I did I lowered the weight it was healthy it was whatever but after the first the very first workout my bicep felt really tight on my left arm and I didn't think much of it and we just kept going and it didn't hurt at all it was just super tight and so we got home and we hung out and then after Ty left my arm started hurting a little bit and it wasn't bad, but I couldn't straighten my arm. And then the next day, it started hurting really bad. And we had the, the pantry shower last night. And I think because I was moving stuff around, it started hurting worse. And we got back and got ready to go to the gym. And on the way to the gym, I just cried in the car because it hurt so bad. And now it's like super swollen and I don't want to move it. <laughs> but apparently it's strained muscle or it's um not sprained it's strained it's like second it's first or second degree straining so i don't i think it's where the muscles are ripping away from the bone and the ligaments and stuff like that so here it's a lot and i'm trying not to cry my eyes out over it because i'm wearing makeup so once it's removed then i'll cry they gave us free ice cream because they accidentally they actually made extra ice cream. So she comes over, she's like, "Hey, do you guys want this ice cream? We're just gonna throw it away if you don't take it because we made extra." That's awesome. We were literally just really talking about our favorite ones, though. And I was about to say the brownie one and the peanut butter one. And, and that's what's on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. 
Ma'am, how does your spot look? Looks like smaller or the same? It looks she has a, spot. a little smaller. So Stop, ma'am. A little bit smaller. Yeah. What happened? Ma'am, she got a cyst. It looks like. We don't know. That could have been like where she got her shot. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what it is. I know, but it's been a while since she got a shot, though. What is it, Mimsy? Busy found Stella. <laughs> You're so cute. English bulldog? French. French. Yeah. Oh, she's a good dog. Aww. But I'm finally going to bed. Um, at the Relief Society thing, we went to like a Relief Society young woman's thing today. It was just like a fun activity. And we learned how to make sourdough bread, which we already knew how to, so we didn't really listen to that that much. And mom's like, this one's like way more complicated than one that I do. So. And it was fun just hanging out with Lizzie and my mom. And yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, it's almost time to say goodbye to the kitties. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye really, really soon. So keep watching for the next very, 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 very few days. And uh, you'll start seeing them go. Um, it's gonna be sad, but it's also gonna be exciting because on to the next chapter, right? Mim is uh, needing our attention again. She's having a tough time sharing it with the kittens. <laughs> a little bit crazy, Mim. Your kittens are crazy, Mim. Okay, As was listening to something this morning that his teacher put out, and I really loved it. Um, growth mindset versus fixed mindset. Fixed mindset is set on, well, I can't do it, so it must not need to be done. Well, it didn't happen, so I'm not gonna try it again. Well, I failed, so I'm a failure. Uh, growth mindset is, oh, it didn't happen, so I gotta keep trying. Oh, it didn't work, so I gotta keep working at it. Oh, I failed, so let's keep working at this. Let's make this happen. Let's try to succeed. Failure is learning. So it's just something that um, if, we, if, if we take the time to just listen to what that voice sounds like in terms of trying to knock us down and um, just try to have a different mindset on things, it changes. It changes quite a bit, which is hard for me to say because today I lost it a few times in all of the craziness that I got into to the point where I felt like it was too much and I didn't want to deal with it anymore. Sarah was the brunt of some of that, unfortunately. It's a good thing she's a patient, patient woman. Anyway, give it a try. Growth mindset. Go after learning from mistakes and failures. We love you guys. Never forget that. You, you are, are worth it. it.